everybody i am shaza and today i'm going to show you how to create beautiful items and designs using strips of paper by rolling shaping and gluing them together this form of art is known as quilling so today i'm going to use this method and show you how to create the letter s so before watching this video please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet and press the bell icon so that you'll get notifications about our new video as soon as we post it and also comment below about your opinions on this video and don't forget to like and share this video if you found it useful so let's get right into this video so the first thing that you're going to do is the, to take the printout of the template of s now i took a simple font so that it will be easier to create the outline of the s so i'm going to take here yellow color um, quilling strip so you can take any color according to your wish. So first, I'm going to start off with the top edge of the S. So I'll take the measurement and then I'll start, uh, fold it in this specific place. Now next will be to create the curve of the S. For that, I'm going to use the back side of a crochet hook. As it has a cylindrical surface, you can use anything um, like a pen or a pencil so when you get the um, curve that you need you will go into the next um, side it will take time because you're going to tame the paper into the given shape now I have completed making the outline so just keep it aside and we are going to do the next step. It is to trace this template of the S into another paper in which you are going to stick the outline. So I am going to keep that paper below this template and I am going to use a toothpick to trace it. So be careful don't shake the paper while tracing then the position will change. So you can also use a pen which does not have any ink anything that is pointy so now I have traced and you can see a light a template of the S so now next is the best part which is to glue the outline of the S into the sheet so for this I'm going to apply the glue into a tray so the reason for this is that normally what we do is we take the big bottle of glue and directly apply it into the strip of paper now what happens here is that the glue uh, will be in a big really big amount and the excess glue will drop towards the edges of the paper and later when it dries you can see the glue marks which makes your um, art really bad and I don't like it so what I do is I use a tweezer and I apply the right amount of glue from the tray so I just tap it gently so just um, the right amount that I need will come and make sure there is no excess glue and then gently stick it into the paper so while doing this you can see that there is no excess glue that like you get while you directly apply the glue bottle into the paper now make sure um, it is strong enough to stay now as we have already stuck one of the side we can't now take the paper off the um, sheet and then apply glue again so what you're going to do for this is you're going to take the tray towards the strip for that you need the glue towards the edge of the tray so I'm going to move the glue using a card towards the edge of the tray so now you can see almost all the glue has come towards the edge now I'm going to um, slide the tray below the strip and I'm going to lift the strip and then I'll um, tap the glue onto it okay and then stick it into place so you're going to do the same thing to the rest. It takes time, be patient, 
no hurry barrier yeah. so now i have completed now you can see it ju looks just as the template that you print to print now i have made uh, some scrolls before itself so i found this um, position where i want to stick them and i'm just going to stick them using glue And gently press on the scroll or whatever you made so that it will stick into its place and um, on the edge of the paper there was no glue so it stuck out so I applied some glue onto the, a stick and then I glued it together now I did the same way for the rest of the shapes I made some teardrops um, some scrolls and so on and I just glued them onto the sheet so this I made it before itself just for a trial so for this I use the outline as a white colored paper and this is the final result I hope you liked it it's really simple not much effort the only thing it takes time is for the outline i hope you like this video i did this work for my art project at school and thought to share it to you as it was fun and interesting i created here the letter s you can use here any other letter or numbers as you like and use it for wall decorations i hope you would try this at home and tell about your experiences in the comments if you like this video please don't forget to share thank you for watching